My name is John Dawson and I'm going to demonstrate to today how to do a uh, monoprint with uh, oil-based media. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is a plate and you have a couple of options. If you have one on hand, uh, a clean metal plate, a zinc plate like you would use for um, etching will work. Or you can just use a, um, a plexiglass plate. Uh, the plexiglass is, of course, much cheaper. It uh, works just as well. In each case, uh, you need to bevel uh, the edges and around the corners. Um, you need to do that uh, in order to keep the plate from uh, damaging your blankets as it goes through the press. And uh, we'll demonstrate how to uh, bevel the edges. The materials that I use, uh, I use primarily ordinary oil paint. It seems to work just as well. Uh, a lot of people who do um, monoprints use etching ink or uh, printer's ink. Um, you could also use a combination of both. Well, for me, uh, personally, I see the, um, the initial printing of the monoprint as the first step in a process. I nearly always add enhancements um, to the monoprints after they're printed. Um, sometimes that means just some minor touch-ups, adding highlights and so forth. And other times it means repainting uh, entire areas of the monoprint. So um, I, don't, um, I don't consider the print finished, really, until I've added the enhancements uh, after the print has been printed. Beveling the plate is uh, pretty simple. You just have to um, clamp the plate down and then uh, run a file along the edge until you get a nice smooth edge. And... Uh, file down the uh, corners until they're round and smooth. Before I begin, I take a piece of uh, mylar and uh, draw out the um, place where the plate goes and the lines where the paper goes. Uh, this enables you later to uh, place the paper and the plate in the same position on the press uh, consistently. On this first print, I'm going to demonstrate how to do a blended roll. Um, throughout the video, I'll probably refer to this as ink, but what we really have here is uh, oil paint. And um, I've put down uh, three different colors that I want to uh, blend together. And then <clears throat> I'm rolling it out with the, um, the roller until I have a nice, smooth, um, blended uh, roll onto the roller. Then next, uh, we'll roll it onto the plate and you have to do a number of passes before you get it nice and even uh, blended roll. Uh, the roller I have is uh, really not uh, large enough to cover the whole plate so uh, I take a, a small roller or a brayer and uh, load it up with uh, uh, similar ink and then roll it out until it matches. There are a couple different ways to uh, get the image drawn onto the, um, the plate. Uh, this, uh, this first one that I'm using is just a freehand method uh, where I'm uh, just going to use a, a sharp pencil and draw out the shape that I want uh, the figure to be. It may be a little hard to see in the video, but uh, this is the, uh, the shape that I've drawn out with the pencil. Um, and then I'm going to uh, wipe away the um, area where the um, figure is going to be painted. Because this is an oil-based media, I'm using a, a paper towel or paper rag dipped in paint thinner to uh, wipe out the entire area where the figure is going to be. And uh, I need to wipe it uh, almost completely clean. After that area is uh, wiped uh, uh, out completely, then um, I begin to, uh, to paint in the figure. Uh, as I mentioned before, I use uh, almost exclusively oil paint to do this. And uh, you have to work fairly fast because uh, you don't want the paint to dry. Those areas that are drips um, are done with a lot of uh, paint thinner in the paint. And they'll, they're going to dry a little faster than uh, the actual oil paint. So that means that um, 
I really need to uh, um, paint pretty quickly and then um, run through the press. I have the uh, mylar sheet I made earlier on the press bed and I'm going to put down the uh, finished plate in the area that I have designated for the um, plate. And now if uh, you could see this without my big fat butt in the way, I'm placing the, um, the paper down on the paper line. Once the print has been run through the press, you want to uh, pick it up very slowly so it doesn't tear. And then this is the uh, print right after it's been through the press and before I've made any enhancements. This is a little different approach. I'm taking a preliminary drawing and putting the uh, plexiglass plate over the top. I'm going to be drawing on the back of the plate uh, using the Sharpie to uh, copy the preliminary drawing onto the uh, back of the plate. I'm mixing a single color in order to do a, um, a flat uh, roll. I'm rolling up uh, the, the color to, um, to do a, uh, a flat color roll in the background. And I'm just going to um, uh, roll up the top of the plate because uh, that's the only place that the, um, the flat color is going to show. Then I put the plate on a light box. It's a, a little hard to see in the video, but I can see the, uh, the drawing on the back through the, uh, the ink on the light box. Then I take a pencil and uh, trace through the, um, the ink uh, to the uh, drawing underneath. As I did on the, uh, the previous mono print, I'm taking a uh, paper towel with uh, paint thinner in it and wiping out um, the ink uh, where the, um, the image is going to be painted in. Once I have this area wiped out, I'll be ready to uh, paint in the figure and then print the image. And this is the print through the press before any enhancements have been made. The drawing on the back of the plate can be removed with a little denatured alcohol on a paper towel. Once you've run the plate through the press, uh, you can take that same plate and put it back on the press and run it through a second time to get what's uh, called a ghost image. Uh, a second option is to uh, take the same plate and repaint areas uh, on the plate and then run it back through the press to get um, a second print. Um, the advantage of that is, is that um, some of the areas will print very lightly, the uh, ghost image, and other areas will print very darkly. So you can get uh, uh, a lot of uh, interesting effects from uh, using the uh, plate that has the ghost image on it. This is the ghost image of the first monoprint uh, I did on the video. And it's been straight through the press without uh, anything else having been added to it. This plate has been uh, through the press once, producing the initial monoprint. I'm now uh, painting areas back in on top of uh, what would be the ghost image to show how a uh, partially repainted plate works with the ghost image. As you can see, some areas like the blended roll are now very light. And the newly painted areas can add extra dimension to the uh, print. Here are the finished prints from earlier in the video after they've uh, been uh, touched up and enhanced. Well, that's uh, pretty much the basics for doing uh, mono prints with an oil based medium. Um, the thing about doing mono prints is that, uh, especially with the oil based media, is you can get um, effects that are hard to get any other way, uh, particularly uh, blended rolls um, and nice uh, flat uh, rolled backgrounds. Um, also, the, um, the actual uh, monoprint itself, the way it's drawn and so forth, not only comes out to look much different than it does almost any other uh, 
way that you would try to do it. But um, there's a certain unpredictability about how the print comes out that uh, can be either um, very exciting um, with some very nice happy accidents or um, a total disaster. Um, in one case, uh, I was doing a, a mono print and the, um, the print started to get uh, caught in the, um, in the press. I'm not sure why. I think maybe it had too much ink on the plate. And I caught it just in time before the print got uh, uh, ruined. And um, it turned out to have these uh, interesting stripes in the background, which um, I don't think I could ever duplicate again, ever, unless the, uh, the uh, print got, uh, got stuck in the, in the press again. So, as you can see, there's a, a lot of unpredictability to doing um, uh, model prints in the uh, oil-based media. The one um, advantage and disadvantage is, is that you have to work very quickly and get everything uh, on the plate and through the press before uh, the uh, oil paint starts to dry. Normally, it doesn't dry very quickly. If you add a lot of uh, paint thinner to it, it will tend to dry more quickly than uh, if uh, you don't. But it still will print, and, um, and you can get some very uh, interesting uh, effects. Uh, one last thing, uh, um, I don't necessarily do it, but uh, there's also the option of um, pressing things into the, uh, or on the plate or into the ink uh, before it goes through the press, uh, fabric or doilies or leaves or other things to get uh, uh, impressions onto the plate uh, before it goes through the press, and you can get some interesting results from that. Well, uh, I'm going to follow this up with uh, some examples of uh, other uh, mono prints that I've done and the uh, web address for my Facebook page and website. And if you're interested, you can subscribe to uh, other instructional, instructional videos of mine on, uh, on YouTube.